So I, I've noticed some things over the last week about I th- I'm there's a theory in my head. Just hear me out about the Yankees possibly getting the fans ready to name Judge. Not maybe not soon, but sooner, you know, later on naming Judge the future captain of the Yankees. Um, I don't know if you remember, but when Jeter was playing, um, he would always lead the team out of the dugout, you know, yep. for warm ups yep. and everything like that. But he was always and the I first saw- one up too when they scored a run or a home run. He was always the first one out to greet whoever scored the run. Right. So, so I saw a tweet the other day. I don't know why it, it hasn't been talked about. Maybe I'm just overreading things. But the Yankees' a Twitter account tweeted, Aaron Judge leads the Yankees out of the dugout and we're ready to play baseball. And I think that, along with the whole Judge's Chambers thing and the fact that everybody's starting to love, fall in love with his personality, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that they're getting ready maybe within a year or two to name Judge the, no. the next captain of the Yankees? No, no Nick. The, the, the simple answer to your question is no. I'm not sure the Yankees are going to have another captain after Derek Jeter, but the beauty of a guy like like Aaron Judge is that's who he is. What he does, the fact that he is the first one out of the dugout to the field, the fact that he runs runs out, the fact that he's you know, a guy who is more concerned with his team's success than his own success, it's not an act. That's just who he is. Right. I mean, the Yankees lucked out. They got a guy that's you know, 6'8", 282 pounds, that's just a, a really good baseball player that's also a really good teammate. Like, some people are just built to play team sports. Like, their personality is conducive to being on a team sport, to playing a team sport. Some guys aren't. Like, some guys are just really good at their sport or selfish guys and are more concerned about their own personal success. Aaron Judge is one of those guys. Is he one of those guys? Do you watch him? It's going to naturally happen. If he's going to be a captain, oh, it's yeah. going to naturally yeah, happen. Yeah, people will just follow him, but he has to have success first. But as a Mets fan, I know you said you actually enjoy watching the Yankees now, even though you're a Mets fan, because they are a fun team to watch. But do you look at him and wonder, what's the catch? Do you say, like, no one can be no. that – Happy that you know, happy go lucky that relaxed. Like he seems for a guy for a rookie player, he seems so comfortable with himself, and and just whatever happens happens kind of attitude that it almost feels like well what what else is there because it didn't come easy to him. Like establishing himself as the right fielder for the New York Yankees didn't come easy to him, and I think that's the one thing you can say about the New York Yankees: they make you work, they make you earn it. Mm-hmm. Like they're making Torres work it, so by the work for it. So by the yeah. time he gets up here, he's ridden on the buses. Like he's gone through. The miners and so realize the appreciation for it. And the other part it. about it is there's not a sense of entitlement once exactly. you get there, once you get the opportunity, right? You come to work every day and you have that same mentality because you understand how hard it was to get to that point. I mean, the fact that Tom Brady actually has said this and verbalized it, and I heard something, I watched something this weekend and they were talking about it. Why they, why, you know, why Tom Brady goes out of his way to take less than, you know, what other quarterbacks take is because he doesn't want to put Bill Belichick in a situation where Bill Belichick has to take emotion out of it and go, am mm-hmm. I getting the kind of production I need for the amount of money I'm paying right. him? Right. Are I'm you sure worth 18 to $20 million? Exactly. Like he, in, that's Tom Brady. Maybe the greatest quarterback of all time doesn't want to put his head coach in that situation because he knows exactly the decision the coach is going to make. Would you also want to be that guy too? And Look, and, and people make a lot about your contract, but what not talked about enough is the fact that you took that contract with the idea that it would be less of a cap hit, yep. which would allow the team. Now, the years is what everybody focuses on, but they forget that it's stretched out. It's a number that was stretched out for the purpose of, and I know you've told this before, for the purpose of keeping the cap hit low so you could get, you wouldn't be hindering the team from getting other star players or another player that could help the team be successful. And I mean, that that's really, again, that's more of a team first attitude than anything else. It's the fact that you don't want to be the guy. And this is where we talked about with Odell. And if you do have to sign him to the 18 million, all right, well, somebody's getting cut. And would you want to be in that locker room knowing that you just made your defense weaker? Well, hey, you got to pay me, so but but you just made the defense weaker. That's a tough spot to be in in, in the salary cap sports era. No, it absolutely is, but it's one of those things where you want to prove your value to the organization. So if you recognize that you're going to cost another one of your teammates your job, you got to make it up to the other 51 guys in that locker room, and you got to show them this is what you bought, this is what you paid for, right. and I'm going to help make everybody better.